Hey folks, exercise 11 is all about making a bag of flour kick a ball. So, as always, let's start with some homemade reference videos. After studying the footage, it's time to pull out the essential poses and sketch them to match your character's movement. While examining the footage, it's a good idea to think about the principles of animation that could be used to embellish the performance. When looking over the images, I think arcs and follow through really stand out. In the animation software, I'll start by drawing in all of the extreme poses of the character. I have the ball on a separate layer because I don't intend to animate it until I've got the main character's movement completed. When looking at this motion test, I'm really happy with the energy and the movement given the way the bag rotates and moves. Off camera, I spent some time selecting each pose and adjusting the size so that there would be some continuity in volumes. Now is a good time to think about areas to slow down and speed up the animation with some breakdowns and in-between drawings. So at this point, 11 videos into this big project, the processes are basically the same. The idea is to draw, you watch the motion test very, very critically, and then you start the cycle over again. And once you're happy with the physics and the motion of your character and how they move, you can move on to the next step. So here's a rough pass with all of the in-betweens and the movement of the ball included. And here's the final reveal. So as always, uh, I hope you find something beneficial to your learning in these videos, and I hope you go give this a shot. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.